So today we're going to be tying one of my go-to streamers when I'm searching new water, I'm not sure what to throw, or if I'm just having trouble catching fish. This is a thin mint. It's a great representation of a lot of small prey items for trout. It could be a leech, it could be a crayfish, it could be a minnow, it could be a damsel. It's just something tasty swimming in front of them and they love it. So to start, I've got a size 8 uh, long chain streamer hook in the vise. This one's a Gamagatsu hook here. And then I've got, I believe that's a 5.30 seconds bead on the front there. So to start, you'll use three colors of marigou for it. You're using black, brown, and olive. I usually like to start by putting some olive on the bottom. And as opposed to using the whole feather, what you want to do is just take a little bit of it. I like to use just the very tips. And you'll take, measure that so that it's just a hint longer than the hook shank. Then you'll tie that on down, and wrap it all the way up the body there. Then you'll grab your brown feather, same thing. Just get the very tip out of it there. Again, measure it out so that it's about the same length there. And you'll tie it right on up the body. And then again, you'll get your black feather. Get out just the tip from it. Up, measure it out and tie her on down. And the reason I use just the tips of those feathers is it builds a nice little tail right there without building too much bulk into it. So the next step is you'll get some UV pearl flash boo. I usually just pick one strand out of there. And the way I like to tie mine in is I'll tie it on the close side to me here and go just a little ways down the shank with it and then fold it on over to the other side here and tie it right on down the other side. You can take snip that, and I'll usually repeat that process again, that way I've got two down each side. And then again, snip those. And then you'll also grab another piece of that UV flash a boo right there we'll tie it in at just the very end going out the back and then at this point I like to use red medium sized wire on this as a rib to help hold that hackle in so you'll tie in some of that as well And then at this point, I'll usually tie in my hackle. In this case, it's just a brown saddle hackle. And you wanna make sure that you've got one that's sized right for your fly. I'll just take and kinda of stroke those fibers back a little bit just to get the tip so I can tie it in.
And then at this point, we'll start making the body. Now the original recipe calls for peacock curl for the body. I found that peacock curl falls apart after just a couple of fish. So I like to use this peacock black ice dub right here. It's a little more durable, has that same sort of iridescent quality as peacock. So you'll take and start building that dubbing up on your thread there. Start it here at the back at the tail. Start bringing that forward. You don't need to go too thick on the body, but you also don't want to go too skinny on it either. Kind of keep building that up as you go. Need just a little bit more here. You want to leave just a little bit of room behind the bead there. So then the next step is you'll get that UV polar chenille and just kind of openly wrap that up the body. This isn't necessarily a crucial step in the fly, but I just like having that little bit of extra UV showing through the body. Next you'll take your hackle, and I like to stroke those fibers back with each wrap, see if this one will lay right for me. Just nice even wraps going up the body with it. Making sure to pull back those fibers with each wrap. And then I usually like to cram in a couple of wraps right behind the bead here. Usually like three or four. And you can catch your hackle. And snip it loose. And then you'll also take that wire and quickly wrap it through there. The quicker you go, the fewer fab fibers you trap. And you can take and helicopter that on out. And I like to finish mine with just a little more of that peacock black ice dub right there at the collar. And you can go ahead and whip finish it. Seat those thread wraps into there. Hit it with a drop of head cement. And there you've got a thin mint.